Okay, so I'm here going to show you the use of this uh, new pedal tuner that I've been working with. This one's a Rocktron chromatic tuner. It's called a Unity Tuner. And uh, I need tuners that work for me in the professional sense, just outside of tuning a guitar. And this particular uh, model here, what it will do, it will not only give you the tuning that you need and show you the note of it, it'll also show you the note in the chromatic. And for example, I'll just go ahead and hit my uh, A string. My guitar is tuned to E flat right now, so the A string would be a G sharp. And as you can see, it says G sharp on the tuner itself. And it tells it goes to the right if it's a little sharp, or it'll go to the left if it's a little flat. And this ha employs this particular style on display, but it also does a uh, strobe display as well. Now I've got it hooked up to my uh, uh, con tuner, and it's kind of hard to see this uh, display here itself. Back in the day, this is what they used, uh, but you, it can still see the wheel kind of moving a little bit, saying that it's a it's a little bit sharp. It's also saying it here on the Unity Tuner, and it's also saying it here on my iPad, the Peterson Straw software that's on here. And this is the one that I use uh, a lot today professionally uh, because it works, it's portable, and it's extremely accurate. So what I'm trying to do is see if this Unity pedal will work with these guys, and if it really shows it to be in tune like the uh, the big boys. And so far it seems to be going that way because when this starts to go down a little bit that means it's just going a tiny bit flat but that is very hard to hear and it does the same thing over here on my con it has a tendency to go down a little bit and here it's just a steady stream light and but it tells you that it's in tune so that doesn't mean that you're not this doesn't mean that you're not in tune it's just telling you where it is so you have an idea of what's going on now let's go ahead and employ the uh, calibration, I mean the uh, the strobe light on this uh, tuner here. And you can see that the, it has a bunch of little lights now that have been added to it. And these things will move a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. So you can see it's moving right now, but the note's not being played. So I'll go ahead and hit the note. And if you can see all these here together working, you can see that they are moving a little bit to the left as this is going a little bit flat is this is going a little bit flat as well so so far so good everything seems to be dead on that shows that this unity tuner is dead on it also shows that it's G sharp or A flat same thing here it employs that and of course I have this already set on the dial here to that uh, G sharp now I want to show you what this thing can do as well that I was uh, discovering this particular strobe because this is the one that I'm analyzing here will help me actually do a professional strobe on it and so I'll show you I'm going to hit the, ch the 12th fret the chime and that's how you do a strobe you hit the the chime at the 12th fret and get it in tune and then you depress the note and as you can see depressing the note it goes sharp so that means that my strobe is out and not only can you see it here but you can also see it there this like I say it's really hard to see where I am where you are but rather and and it kinda moves sharp yeah you can kinda see it going sharp a little bit so what I want to try to do is now match these two notes the chime and the actual note of the 12th fret and this is how you actually do a, uh, a strobe so let's see if the unity will will do that Now I'm gonna go ahead and make my adjustments right now so this means that the uh, a string or this is is uh, out of strobe so let's see if we can get in the strobe using the unity tuner itself there's the chime and there's the note and as you can see it is even showing that small increment of being in tune this is matching with that and that's what I want when it comes to doing a, a professional strobe is uh, sometimes 
sometimes I can't take this with me on a, a TV show. It's just too big. Uh, it's bulky. Uh, it's very delicate. Uh, it, it rides better in a work case or work box when I'm on the road. This one here works well too as far as being TV shows or radio shows, but I also have to uh, set this thing up and supply power to it. This one's battery operated. It also has an adapter you can buy for AC power to DC, but for a battery operated pedal to give me what I need at a quick moment's notice TV show, portable show, this tuner right now is cutting the mustard. As you can see, I'm going to finish strobing this guitar because I just tweaked it a little bit more. And as you can see, this is going up and down. This is doing the same thing. It's going up a little bit and then down. And right now, I think I've just about got it strobed to where I want it to be. Just a small, one more little tweak. And there's a strobe dead on and it still shows it moving. Frequencies will sometimes when the string when you hit the string it'll move it'll, the strings they travel in this fashion here when you pluck them and they will continue to do that and that's why you see these strobes still move a little bit because the string is is vibrating and that's why they move like that. But this is dead on chime and then the note, depress the note at the 12th fret, and there it is. This is doing exactly as this is doing, exactly as this is doing. This guy here will work professionally, professional strobe tuning, and in a portable situation. Highly recommend it.